Now here we have a cell. By the way, we're only talking about one cell in this case because we have two electrodes. So, one cell. Here we have a cell which is under non-standard conditions. We see that right away. The concentrations are non-standard and that immediately drives us to the Nernst equation. The Nernst equation, remember, says that E0 for a cell, or E for a cell, I should say, equals the standard cell potential minus 0 0.059 over N, where N is the number of electrons transferred, times the logarithm of Q, where Q is the reaction quotient which has the same form as the equilibrium constant but includes the actual concentrations. So, let's first calculate E0. The two reduction reactions are The overall reaction that is Zn plus Cu2 plus equals Zn2 plus plus Cu has E0 of plus 0 0.333. Minus minus zero point seven six three volts equals one point one zero zero volts. This is our familiar Daniel cell. If you look back at the lecture, you'll see it dissected in great detail. So the potential under these conditions equals E0 minus 0 0.059 divided by 2. Two electrons are being transferred times the logarithm of Q. And Q is the zinc ion concentration divided by the copper ion concentration. because solids in their solid standard state do not enter into the calculation of either equilibrium constants or reaction quotients since their activity is constant. So E equals E0, 1.100 volts minus 0 0.059, I should have written volts in here, times the log of, and now we plug in the actual concentrations, 1.30 molar divided by 0 0.25 molar. And the difference is 
1.08 volts. Changing the concentrations to these non-standard values has slightly reduced the potential of the cell.